Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a young man who has overcome adversity through music. This sophomore high school student visualizes his success through his cello. Please welcome Khalil Payne. Thank you. Thank you so much. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? I'm doing very well. Thank you so much for asking. So this is the second time that you've been selected to perform at Carnegie Hall. What does yes. that feel like? And tell us about the process. Well, the process, uh, I go through a program that's called Honors Performance Series, and I signed up to go to Carnegie Hall. Now, the first time that I went, it was when I was a freshman in high school, right? Okay. And Miss, well, our orchestra teacher at the time, Miss Floyd, uh, she was, you know, giving us programs for us to do, so I decided to go to Carnegie, like, you know, sign up for Carnegie Hall. I thought we were just, like, going to go somewhere in Georgia, like, maybe Athens and play somewhere that's, like, similar to Carnegie Hall, but we're actually going right and i didn't actually know or get the actual message until like <laughs> after my audition uh -huh. so after i did the audition and everything on october 31st that was when i got the email they said that i was accepted to the symphony orchestra at carnegie hall wow and this is what this was for people like out of the whole world yeah i was eighth out of 15. it was literally like the best feeling I ever had, like I was screaming on the bus. Did you cry, was, did you cry? Yes. Yes! yes, yes. Wow. Cause like, um, ever since I started playing mm -hmm. and actually like progress, people were saying, you know, I can't wait to see you at Carnegie Hall, I can't wait to see you on TV. And these things are actually right, happening. Right, because they spoke life into you. Exactly. You know what I mean? So why did you even pick up the cello in the, the beginning? You could have chosen any other instrument, why the cello? Well, it was when I was going to tap middle school, when I was a rising sixth grader, so they had orchestra, band, and chorus. We can choose two of them. So I decided to go to orchestra just to see like how it is. Yeah. And I, before I start, I'm a little bit of a, I was a little bit of a lazy kid. Uh huh. So when I picked up the violin and started playing, I kind of had big hands for like an 11 year old. So I had to like scrunch everything together, and I didn't really like it. Plus, right, I right. had to hold it up. <laughs> that was too so, much. That was way too much exactly. manual labor to hold up, right? Exactly. A violin. <laughs> and the viola, it was a little bit better, but I still didn't like holding it up. <laughs> and it felt really weird on my chin too, cause it's, I mean, people call it like a big violin. Yeah. So when I got to the cello and they gave it to me, so the, I was a little bit afraid because it's, it's a huge instrument. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, sometimes when I like carry my uh, case around, people ask, do I put like a body or something <laughs> inside of it? <laughs> right, right, right. But, um. I started playing, I had no idea what I was doing, but I felt like, I didn't know what it was at the time, but I felt something like a connection or a bondage yeah. or something with it. So I made a mental note, and then it gave me the upright bass. Mm -hmm. I was completely terrified. I thought I was gonna like fall over or something, because the thing is, it's huge. Yeah, huge. yeah, 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 yeah. So in 2012, uh, you, you lost your mother, and I know that you and your siblings uh, use music to, to heal. Tell us about how that has been, music has been so therapeutic for you to heal from her loss. Well, for music, when it usually happens when I practice, but to me, music is like almost an escape world mm -hmm. from where like everything around you, you feel like it's falling apart. And sometimes even when I play like a certain song or a certain piece that I practice, and we get to like a really emotional part in the piece and all of a sudden I get like goosebumps myself. I yeah. mean, honestly, when I hear someone play or something musically inclined or even just speaking, I sometimes get goosebumps, but this time it was like all over and I don't even know what was happening. It was just... It was the spirit. Yes, yeah, ma'am. Yeah, it was absolutely the spirit. Tell us about your nonprofit. So the nonprofit is uh, Justice for Janice and that's my little brother Jordan, my little sister Amir and I. We were trying to get ready to start. We don't know exactly how to start it, but we're trying to get it ready and get it together. And that's where we're trying to get to speak to people that either had lost a parent due yeah. to domestic violence or that's going through domestic okay. violence. Good, well, that's beautiful. I'm glad you guys are coming together for a worthy yeah. cause. So where do you see your path leading you? I mean, because the future is so bright yeah. for you. I see myself be a so being a, a solo cellist mm -hmm. and possibly even maybe playing 
a few like contemporary songs, yeah. some classical songs, maybe even come back to Carnegie Hall someday. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So we got to show love uh, to the Alpharetta Smyrna chapter of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated through Kappa League. How yes. the men of Kappa Alpha Psi helped you uh, in your journey, in your musical journey, and as a young man? Well, m for my trip for Carnegie Hall, uh, it was extremely, extremely uh, expensive and this year my school this is wasn't gonna pay for it mm -hmm. so we had to be able to get around two thousand dollars just for one person to go and that's without food yeah. and without the plane ticket yeah. but the Kappa League they had uh, paid off the two thousand dollars for the whole program oh, nice. and they've even uh, got uh, me and my mom to go as well Good to go to New York and everything. That's awesome. So shout out to the men of Cap Alpha Psi doing their thing. And thank you so much uh, for what they're doing through Kappa League as well. But somebody told me you're gonna perform for us when we yes, come back. So we get to hear your your, your magic yes, in just a second. So stay exactly where you are. Khalil's gonna play a little something for us when we return. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Before the break, we met Khalil Payne and heard his story of triumph over trials. Now it's time to hear his talent. This is truly an honor, so please join us in welcoming Khalil Payne on the cello.